My friend Sara's an archaeologist. She works near here. I want to go see if she knows anything about your riddle. That would be great. The stone faces have always been Sara's obsession. Most people come here looking for treasure, but not Sara. She just wants answers. Have you been friends a long time? Mm. Since we were kids. Sure she was the nerd. I was always skipping school and stealing my grandma's RV. Abby, can you help me with this? It's broken. Hold on. Are you that Lara? Croft? I am. I recognize you from your picture. What's your interest with this place? I'm following a riddle. The heart of the serpent is in the cup near the many stone faces. The stone faces? That's why I'm here too. I don't want to step on your toes. It's the serpent in the cup I'm really looking for. Well, I can tell you the faces have been here for at least 400 years. According to documents in the library, they keep watch. Legend has it, they're guarding a secret crypt. A crypt? We've never been able to find it. As you can imagine, that's what drives the treasure hunters crazy. But if the infamous Lara Croft is as clever as they say she is, well, if you were to find it, you might be doing me a favor. You think I should start at the library? Yes, it's over by the cemetery. It's one of the oldest buildings here. Make sure you credit me if you find anything. Thank you. I will. Anymore. Did you say someone's missing? Yes, Isabella. Another member of the field study. I checked on her after the first tremors this morning, but her tent was empty. You should ask Manu. He probably told her where to find El Dorado. This is serious. We had a fight last night. A bad one. I'm sorry, Guillermo. I didn't realize. Please continue. You had a fight. I don't mean to pry, but... It's all right. We've been very close friends for almost a year, and I think both of us would like there to be more, but... Neither of us has broached the subject. Isa and Sarah, they often don't get along. Sorry, Sarah, but it's true. Because Sarah insists on her team being very down-to-earth, while Isa has a passion for folkloric tales of hidden temples. I often get caught in the middle. Those stories always come from somewhere. Even if most of it is made up, there'll be some kernel of truth to it. That's Isa's viewpoint, too. Anyway, there's an old blind man who lives here named Manu who's full of these kinds of stories. He convinced her there's a secret crypt hidden around here, and last night she asked me to come with her and find it. I refused, and we got into the old fight. It ended with her calling me a hidebound coward and me calling her a... a foolish child. So she ran off? Yes. To as she put it, prove all you naysayers wrong. This morning I heard rumors that she vandalized the cemetery last night. That's when I started looking for her. When I found her missing with no one knowing anything, I started to worry. What if she went looking for the crypt and something happened? I can never forgive myself. All right. You stay here, so if there's news or she comes back, you'll know about it. I'll go looking for Isabella, starting with the cemetery. You'd do that? To be honest, I'm as curious about that crypt as she is. Calling me a witch? <laughs> Imagine. I'm sorry? I'm a herbalist. A shamefully unrecognized branch of medical science. And that child's grandmother was a dowser. The things people ignore that are right in front of their noses. Some people are afraid to believe in what they can't understand. Ha! Huh, you sound like Isa. Isabella, the archaeologist. You know her. A smart girl, 
a good researcher and unafraid to admit there are things she doesn't know. She's the one who broke the cross by climbing on it. I don't know what was in her head. I tried to stop her, but she was very upset about something, angry and full of grief at the same time. Do you know where she is now? I'm looking for her. I don't know. After the cross broke, she ran away, but I didn't see which direction. In the state she was in, I knew better than to try to interfere with her. I'm sorry. That's all right. You've given me more information than I had. Do you need some help with this cross? I do. But first we have to get those children out of the way. It isn't safe for them to be running around while we work. That blind trickster filled their heads with tales of treasure, and they think I mean to steal it. I'll talk to them. Hey, get away from here. It's our treasure. It's getting quite late. How about postponing the hunt until tomorrow? No, we're not leaving till we find it. We'll sleep here if we have to. Oh, I hope it doesn't come to that. Is there anything I can do to help? No, we told you. You're not getting our treasure. Manu said if we find it, we can keep it. Hmm, that's a shame. The sisters told me you were very good at sharing, and I do know a lot about treasure hunting. You know the sisters? She could tell on us. I won't tell if you won't tell. I have a secret too. I'm the brave adventurer Lara Croft. Whoa! We won't tell. You can help us. If you find the treasure, we'll split it, even. You've got a deal. What do you need? Manu told us we need to solve a riddle to find the treasure. Are you any good at riddles? I'm an expert. Let's hear it. I want you to take my supply. I'm nourished when the heavens cry. If I get sick, a village dies. Who, Who am, am I? I? Looks like there's something here. Fool's gold and costume jewelry. But the kids will love it. So did you find anything? I sure did. Look at this. We're rich. Hold on, hold on. We said everyone gets an equal share, so... Oh no, I couldn't possibly accept any of your treasure. You mean it? Absolutely. I knew it right away when I saw you. I said, there's a real hero. Please, please, it was nothing. I only did what any reasonable person would do. Thanks for finding the treasure. We're going to show it to Manu. I don't know how you got Diego and the rest of those kids out of the way, but I'm glad you did. Now we can get to work. Where should we start? over this way. Thank you for your help. And I hope you find Isa. I'm worried about her. I wish I knew why Isabella was trying to climb the cross. Maybe something about the cross can show you where Isa went. There's an inscription. Look through me to find the way. I wish I knew why Isabella was trying to climb.
There's the next cross. There's the next cross. There's an inscription. Look through me to find the way. Is the next cross. Looks like there's something here. Wait, I can push this. Got it. Hello? God. There you are. Yes. Who are you? Guillermo sent me to find you. He's worried about you. <sighs> Poor Guillermo. He's probably killing himself with guilt, too. <laughs> I guess we were both right. There was a hidden crypt, and I did have an idealized view of what it would be like. How did you injure yourself? I was on a rope when the tremor hit. The shaking threw me into the walls, the rope snapped, and I hit the water badly. Uh, I think my ankle's broken. In order to get you out, I'll have to go back for help. It will take several people. <laughs> What's so funny? Can one of those people be Sarah? I'd love to see the look on her face when she has to admit that one of Manu's fantastic stories turned out to be true. I'll suggest it to Guillermo. Now, I don't think I can get out the way I came in, so I'm going to have to look for another way out. I'll be right back. And I'll be right here. It was me, don't worry. I must be on the right path. The air is getting fresher. Don't tease me. I've spent the night in a crypt.
Isabella, I see daylight. You'll be out of here in no time. You're amazing. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Please, tell me Isabella's okay. She is, but she's hurt her ankle, so we'll have to go back and get her. No, I could not stand to inconvenience you any further. And besides, Sarah tells me you have something important of your own to do. Please, let Isa's friends take care of her from here. You'll need a couple of people and a lot of rope to get her out. I'll round them up right away. Where is she exactly? Take the main road across the river, then follow the crosses. Wait, the crosses? Did she find something? She found the crypt man who told her about. She did? That's wonderful. Oh, I, I'm so happy for her. I should have gone with her, and I feel terrible about her ankle. But despite that, this is the adventure Isa's always dreamed of. She also suggested that maybe Sarah could be a member of her rescue party. Oh, that's a great idea. I'll make sure of it. And speaking of Manu and his crazy stories, if you're looking for something hidden around here, you should probably talk to him. It worked for Isa. He's usually hoarding code around the mission. And thank you again for finding Isabella. I don't know what I would have done if... Just make sure she gets back safe. You must be Manu. Who's that? Who's there? She's the one who found the treasure. Is that right, Diego? Well, well, what can I do for you? I overheard you telling the children about Maya ruins. Finally! Someone who pays attention! Well, you were right about the crosses. Isabella followed them to a hidden crypt. Ha! I knew it, I knew it! No one ever listens to old Manu, but I was right. <sighs> so you were. And I bet you're telling the truth about those Maya ruins. I recognize something in your voice. The thrill of discovery, of finding something, some place unseen for hundreds or even thousands of years. There is something thrilling about that, isn't there? There's no feeling like it. The taste of stale, dusty air still gets my heart racing. These modern people, these so-called realists, they close themselves off from such wondrous possibilities. They can't even imagine some of the things I've seen. Ah, that I would give anything to see again one last time. Perhaps I could be your eyes, your witness of those Maya ruins. You could at that, yes. Do you remember where the ruins were? Now, where were they? I remember a pool fed by three waterfalls. Uh, I wish I could give you better directions, but it's been so many years. I should be able to find it, and when I do, I'll come back and tell you all about it. Oh, if you could do that for me, touch that, that history, I would... I would be so... Say no more, Manu. I'll find it.
Oh God, what is that smell? Is this supposed to be one of the beheaded gods of the underworld? Full up. Can't carry any more. This is incredible. <laughs> the piranhas are feeding on the corpses. Pulling won't keep the gate open. 
I'll need to free that raft. Pull up. Can't carry any more. Got it to stay open. Now to get out of this horrid smelling place.
I hope you've shined up those dancing shoes, Manu. I found the ruin. It was Maya, an ancient aqueduct. It was wonderful, just as you'd imagined. I knew you would. Now, tell me everything. The ruins had flooded because of the earthquake. I swam through tunnels teeming with peril. Go on. I found a vast cavern and a stone tower with massive heads carved into its sides. The Lords of Shibalba, right? Incredible. What else? It must have been an aqueduct of some kind. And you'll never believe this. Most of the machinery is still functional. Water wheels three men high turned as smoothly as the day they were built. It was amazing to see Manu to be so close to all that history where no one has set foot in hundreds of years. <laughs> I see it. I can smell it, feel it, taste it. You, you've brought tears to an old man's dry eyes. I, I can't thank you enough. I, I'd like to give you something. Manu, I, I couldn't. Please, I insist. It's the first relic I ever found. It's beautiful and intricate. A decorated skull. I'd like someone who has the same passion for exploring that I did as a young man to have it. Don't ever let anything kill your sense of curiosity and wonder. I won't. Thank you, Manu. An adhesive made of tree sap and powdered bone hold the jade and other gems in place within the wearer's teeth. A crude drill, perhaps made of obsidian, would have been used to delicately carve out the notches required to hold the jewelry in place. <laughs> 